New details on Royal Baby Number 3. Home with his family at Kensington Palace this morning, London celebrating the arrival of their newest Royal, the BT Tower proclaiming it's a boy. The London Eye also lighting up in the UK's colors of red, white, and blue. ABC's Jane Longman is at the at Kensington Palace with more. Good morning to you, James. Good morning, Michael. Yes, the baby boy waking up to his first day as a prince. We're expecting some visits very soon from perhaps the Queen and other members of the royal family. Wrapped in his mother's arms, the prince made his world debut on the steps of the Linda Wing at St Mary's Hospital, giving what appeared to be his first royal wave before the Duchess bundled him up to protect him from the cold. The fifth in line to the throne arriving at 11.01, weighing in at 8 pounds and 7 ounces, making him the heaviest royal baby in over a century. While Prince George and Princess Charlotte stopped by to visit their new little brother, the princess stealing the show, waving excitedly to cameras. Prince William and the Duchess seen leaving the hospital just seven hours after the baby was born. William, now skilled at putting a car seat in the car, managing the feat in just one click. The new dad joking with the press. <laughs> and addressing questions about the name. Good luck. Expect the baby to have three names. The bookmakers are going for Arthur or Albert. In terms of middle names, I think Philip is an absolute pretty rock hard certainty if there is such a thing. Philip would be a lovely tribute to William's grandfather. Well wishes pouring in for the new family, including from former First Lady Michelle Obama, who shared this photo of her husband shaking hands with a young Prince George, writing, Barack and I are thrilled to congratulate the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge on their newest arrival. We hope to meet him soon for a Kensington Palace pyjama party. I'll wear my robe. And now the guessing game, as we heard there, over his name has begun. Philip is a real possibility after his great-grandfather. All the royal names, possibly Arthur. And even, yes, James is still in the mix. I know that's the one you're pulling for, James. <laughs> but, you know, this we used to it being a lot more formal than it is right now. This young royal family, they're doing things a lot differently. Well, that's right, Michael. I mean, look, let's not kid ourselves. This is the royal family, the most famous family in the world. They live in palaces like this. But William and Kate, they like to do things differently. We've seen that time and time again. Kate, for instance, likes to take her kids uh, on their school run in the morning. Last night, uh, the, the baby would have been brought back here to Kensington Palace uh, apartment number 1A, where their nursery was waiting for the little baby boy. It's themed as a, a, in a Peter Rabbit theme. Uh, and like I said, the parents like to be hands-on. William, we're told, likes, uh, likes, to, uh, likes bath time. He enjoys doing that. And that's very different, I think, from his upbringing and that of his brother Harry. Uh, Prince Charles and Diana, they had a lot of staff in the house. Uh, William and Kate, they, they do things very differently. They're on first name terms with many of their staff. They just have really a housekeeper and a nanny. Um, so things are pared down to try to make it as normal as possible. But I think we should also remember, of course, that these young princes, princes and the princess, they will grow up. We will be stood here possibly waiting as, as they, uh, they get married and have children of their own. They will always be under an international spotlight. But for the moment, this is a family that wants to keep their kids having as normal childhood as possible. Guys. All right. Thank you so much, James. As normal as possible. Good mm -hmm. luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Royals, George, That's they're right. just like us. <laughs> just like us. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.